Hi everyone and welcome to early morning prayer requests and devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. On our prayer request today, Kathy's husband Jason needs prayer. And Becky has COVID. She has other medical issues too, but pray that she'll get better and be okay. Mark needs prayer for the heat wave. Uh, that the heat wave will end and they'll get some rain. Rhonda Sutton needs prayer for dizziness. Pray for Mar Marina's mother. Her left eye is swollen and itches and hurts. The doctors don't know what's wrong. Bente has an unspoken request. Pray for Twyla, a real estate agent for financial problems. Many people have canceled buying houses and yeah I've heard something about that uh, real estate business is really down okay oh well, let's see if I can get this right today <laughs> <coughs> the scripture of the day is from Psalm 19 1 through 4 and 7 through 14 The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they reveal knowledge. They have no speech. They use no words. No sound is heard from them. Yet their voice goes out into all the earth. Their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens God has pitched a tent for the sun. And 7 through 14. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The decrees of the Lord are firm, and all of them are righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the honeycomb. By them your servant is worn. In keeping them there is great reward. But who can discern their own errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Okay. All right. And our devotion today is entitled Unwanted Guests. Kyle and Allison had a wonderful honeymoon in an exotic location. When they returned home, however, they discovered that Kyle's feet had developed a strange, itchy rash. The couple was referred to an infectious disease uh, specialist. He informed them that small parasites had burrowed their way into Kyle's feet through blisters caused by his new flip-flops. What started out as a dream vacation ended up in a challenging battle with unwanted guests. David knew that if he didn't ask God for help to fight sin, his dream of living a pleasing life before him would turn into a battle with the unwanted guest of sin and rebellion. After declaring how God is revealed in the natural world and his wisdom found in his instruction, David asked God to protect him from inadvertent, arrogant, and deliberate disobedience. Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins, he wrote. He recognized that he didn't have the human resources to keep the infectious disease of sin from affecting him, so he wisely asked God for help. How can we make sure our dream of living in a way that honors God doesn't become hijacked by sin? Let's keep our eyes on him, confess and repent our sin of our sin, and deep and seek divine help in keeping unwanted spiritual parasites from burrowing into our lives. What roles do the spiritual habits of confession and repentance play in your life? How important is living a God-honored life to you? Loving God, I don't know myself as well as I should, and I fall short of what I know is right and good. 
Please help me trust in your power in my battle with sin. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with the different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a fantastic morning and I'd love to see you later on on Morning Coffee Break. Bye everyone and God bless.